As a U.S. Navy pilot during the Korean War, Thomas Hudner provided critical air support for Marines badly outnumbered by Chinese troops. 63 years later, one of those Marines, Silver Star recipient Dick Benelli, joined Hudner in the quest to find his wingman, Justy Brown. We're on a mission. We're going to fulfill it, period. Hi, Tom. That's right. Hudner and Brown, on December 4th, 1950, were flying single-engine Corsair fighters when Brown's plane lost power and crash-landed. At a Pyongyang museum, Tom, Hudner the, uh, got to see two similar planes to the one he tried to land in a failed attempt to free his dying wingman. But Hudner sees his return to the isolated country is not merely a quest to retrieve his wingman's remains. And the more cooper- cooperation we get from- from former enemies, uh, the better off the world will be. We've done this with a number of countries that have been bitter enemies of ours. They turned out to be some of our strongest supporters. Unfortunately, North Korean officers explained heavy monsoon season flooding meant there would be no visit to the Chosun Reservoir. The consolation message? Leader Kim Jong-un is aware of their quest, making a return trip more likely. North Korean officers at a final meeting with Hudner asked for his team to return with the U.S. military's forensic experts. They also warned U.S. journalists not to imply North Korea agrees to such operations for financial benefit or to improve bilateral relations. Recovering the remains is a humanitarian issue. It is far from a political matter. Author Adam Makos, who is writing a book about Hudner and Brown's story, laments the flooding that prevented the Americans from reaching the crash site. So we were disappointed we couldn't accomplish our mission fully, but we're able to hand off the mission to our new friends uh, from the other side. Uh, The KPA officers are going to resume the search this fall um, with us or without us, and uh, that's the outcome we came for, to somehow bring Jesse home. It doesn't matter if it's us or them. The two veterans and the accompanying Americans will go home with assurances from their North Korean counterparts that the search for Jesse Brown's body will go on and that one day his remains will be brought back to his home. Steve Herman, VOA News, Pyongyang.